All right, so uh, a guy you uh, was in camp for, camp with, yeah. Sean Porter, yeah. and a guy you grew up with in the amateurs, uh, Jerron Ennis. Uh, did you hear the comments of, that Porter said in regards to Boots calling him overrated? Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, you said he, you were scared of him. You want to fight him. Basically, you said you were scared of him. And then you say he's overrated. Everybody can say they want to bottom. him. You know what I mean? Listen, give him the opportunity. He's going to show y'all what, what he can do. He's a talented kid. Like, so stop making excuses and either fight him or shut up. One or the other. Now, you sparred both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boots challenged him to a fight. Who will win that fight? Boots will stop him. Like, uh, he couldn't do nothing with me and sparring. You know what I mean? So, man, the youth. He couldn't do nothing with me. He can't do nothing with Boots. We both, he gonna run into every trick. That's what I'm saying. He run into all the tricks. So me sparring him, I'm sparring him. Like, we got too much tricks for him. He gonna run into everything. And once he get going, he keep going. We're too athletic. That's basically what it is. We're too athletic for him. So, you know, uh, Porter, either shut up or fight him. One or the other. Shut up or give him the opportunity so he can go run down on everybody else. Yo, why do you think he, like, switched his stance up? Do you feel like it was... Now, now that he's not active, an active fighter, now he can... I don't know. It's, I don't know. I can't even get it. Either somebody told him you know, to do that or he just, you know what I mean? I don't know. He got punched in the head too hard. I mean, I don't know. Do you expect... Do you do you expect Sean Porter to come out of retirement to fight Boots? They probably give him a good check. I think that's what it is about most likely. I think uh, he got a phone call. You know what I mean? He about to start building it up. Probably end of the year. Give him time to get in shape. Uh, hopefully it happens. If not, you know what I mean? He gonna get his opportunity on somebody else. Now, now that you're at 154 pounds. Um, who's the best welterweight in the world? Boots. Boots. Besides Crawford and the ones like already, you know what I mean? Mm. The top three is, you know what I mean? Boots, Crawford, and Spence. Not in order, but they did they did three they, best. You know okay. what I mean? Wow. Okay. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate you. No problem.